Hey guys, it's Ty Chanel here and I am back for another video. If you want to see what I am doing today in the glam room, then keep watching. <laughs> So today guys, we are in the glam room because I wanted to do a review on a wig that I received from RPG show. You guys, if you watched my last video, I was rocking this like copper, I don't know, strawberry type I know it's probably picking up like a strawberry red, but it's really not. It's more, I would say it's more of a light copper type of um, wig. But I wanted to customize it and I didn't do a get ready with me or anything like that. But I wanted to give you my thoughts on the wig. The wig comes from RPG Show and just before we get started, um, I just want to make sure that we're clear that this video is not sponsored by them. I bought this wig with my own money. I typically shop with them. I'm just, you know, new to the game. Just wanted to help someone else out if they happen to be shopping on RPG show and maybe interested in what kind of wigs they offer, what the cap looks like on the inside, and just give my overall personal view in regards to wigs from RPG show since I shop a lot with them. So let's get started. Okay, so like I said, today I am going to be doing a review on a wig that I got from RPG show. So here is, okay y'all, I had to turn my phone on silent because my sisters are just having a ball having a conversation anywho the wig that I am going to be reviewing is from RPG show and I wanted to give you guys an idea of what the packaging looks like first let me just say this I've been shopping with RPG show probably for like ooh, probably a decade now um they were the it company that I was introduced to by some of what I like to call the OG YouTubers um, of the wig game. Muffins is my lover, Philly's Jam's Poet, Twinkies. I don't see um, Philly's Jam Poet doing, um, I don't even think she does YouTube anymore. Um, if it just kind of gives you a perspective, Jay Stay Ready. Jay Stay Ready, he does hair for Doja Cat, Saweetie, um, just to name a couple. Um, he actually was, I seen him on Philly's Jams Poets channel. So I was introduced to him like a long time ago and not me personally, but you know in the YouTube world so and he had game from like way back then this is in his college days before he graduated I think he graduated from Jackson State University so shout out to Jay Stay Ready um, but anyways I've been shopping with RPG show for many years now um, so I think I'm qualified to let you guys know that they are a reputable company Enough on my blabbing, let's go ahead and get into it. So, first off, they have new packaging. They have gone through several packaging, but I definitely am taking heed to this one. I like this one. So, it comes with like a duster bag, and inside is a box. Um, and it has on there, obviously you can see how long they've been a company. Um, they also do have like a sister company, it's My First Wig. And that company or that particular um, brand, I would like to say is more of 
um, a beginner person who's looking who's never worn wigs before easy not looking to pluck the hairline or do anything not that you always need to but it's more for your beginner friendly wig wearers um, and I thought that was really cool disclaimer I don't have any wigs from my first wigs but just yet let me just back that up I don't have any wigs from them just yet so um, let's get back into what's inside the box so inside the box is a little card and let me adjust my camera because you guys are probably not able to see like my face okay and I'm sorry y'all I am wearing my wig cap because I'm gonna be doing the ball method and all of that stuff but anyways here is a little card that you guys have on the inside and inside the card is just like a sweet little love note. It has all of their contact, how you can contact them on Facebook, Instagram, all of that. And then inside is a description card, okay? If I can get this to focus okay so here is the description card of the wig because I think that this this is a colored wig so it comes with um, some conditioner it doesn't I I would say it just kind of you really need to like um, really know how to take care of your wigs and that's what um, I like to say about RPG show they have they give you everything you need to um, take care of your wigs so a lot of people back in the day would co-wash their wigs before you know um, wearing them so you can use this conditioner to to do that if you choose to um, also comes with a, a cap you guys can pick when you're ordering a wig, you can pick the cap in which you want as far as the color. I typically will do like more of a flesh tone, but as you can see, what they provided versus what I got on my head is a little bit different. Um, I just kind of store these. I don't, I'm not going to say I always use them. There's two of them in here. There's like a light. There's like a darker color and I don't know on the website I feel like this always looks like the darker color but this is what I end up getting so I would prefer to get something darker but these are kind of I just toss them in my drawer and when you need to plop a wig on and you're out of like wig caps it's good to have a stash of these uh, what else is in the box so just in case you do not want to keep the actual box and you want to toss that away maybe to just declutter things um, RPG show has provided a wig bag okay and I think that's really cool um, a lot of us will apply our wigs or take extra wigs with us on vacation and things like that so that's just an easier way that you can um, you know pack your wigs up in a suitcase and be on your way it comes obviously in the netted. I've already, like I said before, I've already worn this wig, but I did not customize it to my liking. I just kind of cut the lace off and it really didn't need that cut that much of customization. However, I am going to do that this time. So it's probably we're four days away from Thanksgiving. I'm not going to be selling celebrating Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. I'll be celebrating it on the weekend because my family, our work schedules just don't allow us to get together on the actual day. So we're going to delay it until the weekend. So I've got some stuff that I got to do running around this week. So I can't be going out looking like that. So without further ado, let's get into the week. All right, so we have the wig here, and I forgot to mention, you guys, um, I already like washed the wig, so it looks wet. Um, and if this is any indication, this is RPG Show's brush, and yes, 
it's been used but this is what they used to provide in their um, I kind of missed that RPG show this is what they used to provide in their um, wig things all right so the construction of the wig the construction is your standard construction. It has three combs, two here on the side, and then one here um, in the back. Um, it has your adjustable straps here, and then it also has your elastic band in the middle, and you can adjust it. It's just like a bra strap. I think it gives you pretty much a good portion of like parting space. I would say probably a good four to six inches from back here to up here. And in all transparency, this wig was parted down the middle and I particularly don't like a middle part. So I did already um, mold it to do like a side part. Um, you don't get much room on the sides to part. So um, if you were looking to that, then you're not, it's probably like maybe two inches on the side that you can part. But anyways, I am, I did not bleach the knots on here. All I did was um, I put my powder on the inside. You can bleach the knots, but to be honest with you, I mean, the knots are, it's really hard to see on this particular wig, unfortunately. Let me see if I can show you guys but I think the knots look let me see if I could focus in here I think the knots look pretty good you know excuse like the like residual stuff but yeah I hope you guys can see that. I think the knots look pretty good. But yeah, I think the knots look pretty good. So I didn't feel like I need to, um, I didn't need to um, bleach them or anything like that. So what am I actually doing to the wig? I'm probably just going to create some baby hairs. I don't always create baby hairs uh, because I do feel like that is like, Sometimes it's a straight giveaway that you have a wig on and not that I have a problem with anybody knowing that I'm wearing a wig, but listen, we're going for realistic, okay? Realistic means it looks like it's coming out of your scalp. So maybe I just got long hair and I dyed it. Maybe I have, you know, I don't know, maybe I have a weave something that doesn't scream that I have a wig and go ahead and try to pull it off my head. No, that's not what we want to give. So I want to customize the, the hairline and typically you guys, you don't always have to do this. It's a preference. I do believe that um, RPG show, even, even their regular wigs, meaning this being one of their regular from RPG show and not my first wig. I do think that their brand in particular is very still wig friendly. So minimal things that you have to do. Okay. So don't get me wrong. Do I have to do this? No. Um, but I have to be realistic that they probably made this wig probably on a mannequin head or some type um, that's very generic and obviously even the mannequin head that we buy out there in the store is not going to be the actual size of our head. So we want to try to get it as customizable to our dome piece, okay, that we possibly can. So 
that's what I am going to be trying to achieve when I say that I'm modifying the wig. Other than that, I will be doing the ball cap method, which I already have on my cap. And you guys, this is just a, a knee-high um, cap. Like I said, I've been wearing wigs for a long time. And when I first started wearing wigs, this is what we were using. So they work well for me. Uh, my hair are in some like old set it off braids, cornrows going to the back, set it off braids is what I like to call them. Me and my family know my sat. Um, but my sister braided my hair a long time ago, like weeks ago now. And I've just been rocking that until she can do it again. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing the ball cap method and you will see me customizing this wig. So. I will come back when I have the wig um, all doctored up and customized to, to my liking and then you guys can see me apply it. So stay tuned. so we're back I plucked the hairline and ooh, excuse me but um, I just kind of plopped it really looking at myself um, <laughs> and trying to do my hair is, is a task anyways I plucked the hairline a little bit I didn't do like a lot of it, but I'm just gonna show you, and I don't have it like taped down or anything, but I should have did like a before and after. So this is what the hairline is looking like now, instead of that like boxy, like, blunt like you guys see there so that you know if you're the type of person that kind of like does this or whatever it just it goes like natural and it doesn't um it kind of looks like it's growing like out of your scalp and not just thick you know around here which you know I didn't do a lot to be honest with you I probably spent maybe like 10 minutes and you know this is pretty much what I got um so it's a preference thing some people pluck more than others um but I feel like if you don't know what you're doing, it's not necessary. If you do know what you're doing, and I feel like I do um, know what I'm doing. So, I mean, you really have to just take your time because you can get away. Excuse my cat. Um, you can just pluck, pluck away and it could be way too much and then you'll end up with like bald spots and that's not cool. So, um, hairline is done to my liking. I am going to finish doing my bald cap method and then I will come back with the wig. Before I forget, I do not like typically like glue my hair down. I don't. Unless I'm going on vacation, then I will. But um, Bold Hold. Bold Hold is like a gel that I will use that and a combination of the good old got to be free spray. Like I said, I'm really not a girl that uses um, baby hairs and things like that, but we'll see what it does. But I will come back and I will show you guys the hair what the hair is looking like um once i've secured it on my head and i guess not glued but you know laid it down so stay tuned all right guys so we are back and 
I actually went ahead and applied this wig with glue because I'm gonna have it on all, all the way at least until, like I said before, we're not gonna do our Thanksgiving until Saturday. So I'm definitely gonna have it on for about through the week. So at least a week. So, so I don't have to do a lot of touch-ups, just maybe minimal. I just went ahead and glued it down. So um, this right here is me just pulling out some hair to do some baby hairs. I know everything I said that I wasn't going to do, I'm doing. So I said I wasn't going to glue it. I glued it down. I said I typically don't use baby hairs. Now I'm going to have some baby hairs. But I am not going to have a lot of baby hairs. But I wanted to kind of play around with it. I have a lot of time. So um, I have the elastic band. One thing that I can say that RPG show has changed up. They used to have an elastic band that they would provide in the actual box that the wig came in. They used to provide a brush to brush it out with. I kind of miss that. I, I do. RPG show, I'm going to need y'all to, you know, do something with that. I do know that they have it as like an add-on. Um, so you can get like a wax stick. You can t um, buy stuff to tint the lace. They have everything you actually need right there on the website. Unfortunately, it is a small fee. I want to say between five and ten dollars, even down to like the curling iron and the pressing comb, if that's what you need as well. Um, just a long time ago, I think they, or with time, shall I say, they've changed up the box and what they actually put in the box. Because I think at one point they were actually including, um, like a wax stick to lay away, to lay away, to lie down your, uh, flyaways as well. So I don't know. I think most companies out there are really like stepping up their game. They are adding eyelashes. They are adding like cute little clips, um, scarves to like, you know, tie down your lace. So I think RPG show, I think you can either bring it back or, you know, give us a little bit more than just the, I mean, the, the wig cap the wig cap and the conditioner, especially for the amount of money that we're paying for these wigs. I think we kind of deserved at, you know, get a little extra in the box. And my suggestions would be an additional elastic band, just in case that the one that's already in there breaks. Um, the wax stick, um, something to tie down the hair. Um, I do know with their headband, headband, headband wigs, they do provide like different, you know, things to like offset the actual headband, but that's neither here or there. Anyways, add a little more stuff to the box. Anywho, um, yeah, this is going to be for my baby hairs for the most part. Easy install. I did not tint the lace. Um, the lace pretty much come, you can select which, um, color lace you want. It's, they, I believe that they use their Swiss lace. I don't feel like getting up there and getting the card again, but it's on the card. Um, it'll ask you like transparent lace, medium brown, light brown. And I typically get the medium brown, but I only get that because of my skin tone. I try to get it as close to my skin tone. So when I do call myself melting the lace, that it's very undetectable. So I would say if you're first time buying a wig and you want to buy a wig from RPG show and you're looking at how to get how to um, select your lace select the lace that's going to be as close to your um, skin color now don't get me wrong there are wig companies out here who have lace like it'll come to you and the wig the lace will be light if you're not familiar on how to apply your wigs and just to the wig game period. I don't suggest going that route because a lot of us who have been in the wig game for a little bit, 
we can you can give us any lace down to a synthetic wig and we can make that sucker look you know as natural as possible as natural as the the wig and our technique will allow us to be let me just say that so yeah I am going to stop rambling. I don't know if I'm going to style this wig on the um, on this video. Um, I will probably just go ahead and cut the baby hairs once this has set on. I typically will leave my headband um, tie thing on and you guys you don't have to use this you can use a I've seen people use a pantyhose I think I've seen people use like a scarf do whatever it is to get your lace to like really kind of melt into your 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 scalp or your you know your scalp not or anything your scalp just to get it laying down um 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I typically will go around the house. Don't do it too tight. You will definitely get a tension headache and it will just, it will not be the business. So leave it on for about 10, 20 minutes. I typically will probably leave mine on, you know, even longer depending on what I'm doing. I'm gonna cut baby hairs in this and then I will come back and let you guys see the hairline, um, what it's looking like down um but as far as styling it i think you guys pretty much seen that um if you would go and watch my other video my previous video before this one my vlog this hair is showcased in that video as well so i will be back we're almost done stay tuned all right guys so we are done and this is what she's looking like. You guys don't trip off my baby hairs. I do not know how to do them. And I always feel like I have like this gap in between it. But, you know, I'm going to make it do what it do. So this is her, you know, pretty much. not styled but just like down so the wig is 20 inches remember i'm five foot two so it comes below my boob line i will put it all to the back so you guys can see So yeah, pretty far down, 20 inches. I am going to tie this down to keep my baby hairs laid. I used some, I used a mixture of like setting lotion and some bold hold like jelly, like gel type stuff. Um, but yeah. I don't think she looks bad. I think it will look even better when I pop some curls into it. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review on RPG Show's hair. Maybe you'll give them a try. I know they are having a super duper Black Friday um, deal. If you buy, I wanna say like $400, put it like this none of their wigs even the stock wigs you're gonna come close to at least four hundred dollars for one wig so with that being said you could get eighty dollars off and i believe there's like a sixty dollar off don't quote me on that but the eighty dollar one i believe is on their um their website but check them out rpgshow.com um and give them a shot if you're not too comfortable with you know um, wigs themselves and you're not an experienced person with wigs don't fret they have a sister site myfirstwigs.com you can go over there um, I do think that they're a little bit more affordable than the wigs that 
I actually get. Um, the price difference is not like extreme, but you can definitely notice that there's a price difference. Most of their wigs over there are going to be like stock, minimal color. It's going to be pretty basic, straight, curly, bob cut. On rpgshow.com, that's where you're going to get the fancier colors, the more bold colors, um, more of the highlights, more of the fun stuff if you're, you're into that. And if all else fails, shoot take the wig to one of the professionals and let them apply it. But check with them first because I know people are finicky about, you know, applying other people's wigs that, you know, they're not too sure of. But anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video on this hair. If you do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give me a like, comment. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, and I will see you next time. Peace out.